Right, let's go make ourselves useful. If the nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. Damn it. <gasps> oh. Forgive me. I ought to startled. Oh well. Ain't you a sight? Who are you, then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner, too. Nelly. Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. Year round. Fortune left some hours ago, and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not see where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But Thick Skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. What think you of Thick Skin Newsmith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair-minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart. Even if she doesn't show it, why else would she shield us from the beast? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. 
What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I have a feeling about the bed. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Reunius fat aster himi. No ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed but he was fighting the urge to hurt her.
words of a ghost may resonate here. ghost sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. No blacksmith and no tools. Could he have taken them with him? Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's finish here and see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. There are stains here. I can show you them. Let's finish here and see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. These nails look brittle. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Haskell chose the blacksmith for his mastery, but the work is poor. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. What think you of the blacksmith and his wife? A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose?
Holy baby, we pray for you. Call him. Safe. Uh, are they are they gone? Oh, thank you, whoever you may be, for whatever you have done. I oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the manager. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them. And then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no, I, I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe, maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes, but I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognized the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. Aye. Thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like then? Uh, it's alright, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Lots of building work to be done. That means nails. Whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. How are things with Nelly? Good. Yeah, good. It's, uh... Nice. Having a wife. A home. Nelly is, uh... A fine woman. Clever. Brave, generous, and kind. She's a blessing. How did you meet? Me? How did we meet? Well, you know, we just, uh, met. Does he not remember? Or does he not want to say? Come now, Mr. Heaton. No need to be embarrassed. 
We bet romance is good for a man. Romance is not. I. Uh, I helped her with a thing. She helped me with a thing. We stay together, helping each other with things. Doing right by one another can bring a couple together. Doesn't always need romance. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <laughs> Thank you. Traces of a ghost's memory resonate here. Let's see where the back door leads. Mine! Mine! Mine, oh mine! The ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flat of the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. I see the blacksmith has gone. Spectral stains heading deeper into the woods. Odds are there's a blacksmith's flatter at the end of the trail. Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. They who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. Is luck in here. Time to work, Banisher. Blasted pest. Today. 
One less to worry about. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. This could be a good spot to cross. Here's our way. I can't see it. Where? We need to look for somewhere to cross. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's check out the trap. They never learn, do they? Stop that spectre before it possesses the corpse.
That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce. <laughs> You're now Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? Oh, mother birds. Killed a man. With his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost. Show yourself. We are the Banishers Antea Duarte and Red McWraith. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> My forge. My wife. My name, all mine. The bastard stole them. So you're telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? You've been sowing madness in the mind of the man who replaced you. She can't escape me. Are you looking for revenge? I claim what's mine. She schemed it. He seized it, and I shall have it back. That night, on deck, Nelly asked for a divorce. What happened then? We saw what happened. I want to hear him say it. What happened on the boat? Ungrateful, scheming, errant. Oh. Watch it. Red, come on. Distempered, feeble, a weak woman, demanding care and giving none. I gave her a life and she stole mine. She had him kill me. That's not what I saw. Why are you here? I want what's mine. Stolen away. Pried from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. <laughs> she was no one. A drudge who fancied herself a herbalist. <laughs> I plucked her from the dirt. I made her. All right, no. I'll not entertain this man a moment longer. I've had enough of this. Let's go.
Now we know why Fortune Heaton died. You're the bastard, but Mother is murder. Nelly and her fellow are haunted yet, and I'm concerned for their safety. Something's here. Hidden. The right words of power may force the nearby specters to show themselves. Aye. 
Unveil yourself. Ready and waiting. That spectre has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Watch out! Spectre possession! Snap out of it! They shake stuff at all! Shelter with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. Could this be a treasure map? Looks like one. Maps don't necessarily lead to treasure. Aye, but what if this one does? Very well. Let's look for this treasure that obviously awaits us.
For yeet to scar. Ask for help if you need it. Try this on for some. Watch out. Spectre position. Don't let that spectre get to the corpse. Once more, with vigor. Oh, they do look annoyed. I'm right here. I can No! Oh god, no! Look to me. Possession incoming. They never learn, do they?
think Fortune's ghost is here. Let's end this now. You should have... Hush! Someone's coming. Banisha! You're back! Mr. McCrae, my man came back and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been aboard. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe. Maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end. But I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Heaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. A repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time?
fortune heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Be gone. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. Let us know if you need anything. Anything. So? I've done my rounds, as you ask. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. Like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.